Attention. Accompanying me on this To an ant like me, the only end that would be worth a hundred dollars a plate would have to be a pretty big end. I take great pride in presenting the guests of honor 
one whom we all respect, and a person to whom we all look up to. How do you do? <laughs> How do you like that? I got nothing. Oh, boy and Annie they can bust up a party faster than a skunk in an air conditioner. Uh, uh, sorry to eat and run, but. Uh... <laughs> I think I put my little bitty foot in the wrong mouth. I better get a little light on the subject. Oh, there's a sign. I wonder what it says. Oops. Say, this is quite a place. Look at all these funny things. Did you ever have heartburn? Well, I got it all over. Uh -huh. Man, I better run for cover. You're covered. Hey, did you see my hat? Describe him. He's a little teeny thing, about so high, and he's red. Wait a minute. Yeah, this must be your aunt. Well, let me have it. You got it. You know, it's tea time, and I'm gonna have you with my tea. One lump or two? Better make it two. He likes it sweet. How sweet it is. public service announcement. Now, all you little kiddies under 12 years of age better run out and grab a snack until all this violence is over. That's a good idea. I think I'll have a snack, and you're it. Thank you. Sometimes in these situations, it's hard to keep a stiff upper lip. in a more gentlemanly manner. I mean, flip a coin or something. Okay, we don't have a coin, so we'll flip you. What do you want, heads or tails? Heads. Okay, here goes. <laughs> you take the back door, and I'll take the front. I think I got him. Oh, 
claws are all tied up. I guess I'll go rustle me up a picnic. Bye now. Don't pull. You're only making it tighter. You don't happen to know the number of a good boy scout.
And when I see an ant, I give a little inhale, like this. <laughs> Believe me, it's no fun being an anteater. I'd rather be a banker and have a businessman's lunch. Instead, I have to catch things like him. I'm an ant, and he's an anteater. And you know what an old ant does when he sees an anteater? He runs for his life, man. <laughs> I was saying, maybe I should have been a banker. Aha, uh -huh. I got him. First I'll give him a smack, and then I'll have a little snack. <laughs> if I had listened to my mother, I'd have been a radio announcer. Somebody spilled some delicious sweet sugar all over the ground. Some lucky ant's gonna have a feast. You know, if I didn't fall for this, it would break old Claude's heart. My, my, now, now look at all this delicious sugar. Uh-oh, there's a big old rock in the way. Lucky for me, an ant can lift a hundred thousand times his own weight. Kinda makes a fella proud. Maybe I should have been a doctor. <laughs> then I could prescribe myself a pill. Ah, uh, looks like I'm gonna need some help with this. Hey, pal, how's about give me a hand here? I'll do better than that. I'll give you a hand with a big club in it. Aw, oh, thanks, pal. I never could have made it without you. <laughs> I just know old Ben's up to something. I'd better move to Sand Hill so he don't trip over it and hurt himself. to get back to my pad and close the trap door. Never know, it just might rain. <laughs> this hand remover is just a thing. I'll remove him from his house and into a better neighborhood. My stomach! <laughs> That end got half of what I got. He's in big trouble. <laughs> Pow! Uh-huh. Six 
success at last. <laughs> hey, Ant, what do you think of that? I know what I think of that, but I shouldn't say it in public. <laughs> You're probably wondering what I'm going to do with this shot put. Well, I'll show you. Especially when you're trying to catch an ant that's hooked on sugar. Ah, uh, looks like old Sam's at it again. Well, I might as well play along with him. I got a bite, but I'll let him run a little till he gets tired out, then I'll yank him in. Okay, Ed, this is the end of the line. Well, now that's life, and how sweet it is.
Bongo Pest Control. You say you're having trouble with ants? We'll get a man there today. What's the address? 402 Bongo Road. Right. Thank you. 402 Bongo Road. 402 Bongo Road, here I come. Oh, boy, ants. You know, most ant eaters have trouble getting enough to eat, but not this kid. I get all the ants I want. Why? Because I got brains. Let's see now. What was that address? 024 Bingo Street. Or was it 204 Bongo Place? Bamboo Drawer? Oh, yeah. 402 Bongo Road. <laughs> A telephone. I got a call to make. Hello, Bongo Pest Control. Cancel that call to 402 Bongo Road. I'll take care of the ants myself. <laughs> and now for a little nourishment. Hey, yeah. You're looking at an anteater who hasn't eaten an ant for a long time. It's no use, Ant. All I have to do is turn on my built-in vacuum and inhale you like this. Right now, I could use something for a headache. That's one reason why they don't send ants to college. Nobody likes a smart ant. Okay, smart ant, you aren't the only one who can walk on ceiling. Now, ant, a demonstration of art, bark, ingenuity. How about this, ant? You're not playing the game, ant. Oh, what's that? Sounds like sawing. And sawdust, too. Oh, no. Even an ant wouldn't stoop that low. <laughs> I'll bet you don't have a friend in the world, Ant. You got an enemy, though. Me! Now, when that ant hits this wax floor, he's gonna get nowhere. Okay, smart ant. You need extermination, and I'm the exterminator. You hear me, Ant? I'm the exterminator. <laughs> so you think that's funny? All right, you. <laughs> Safari buses pass here once a month, and this one had to be now. <laughs> Come out of that rug, Ant, or I'm coming in after you. Okay, Ant, you had your warning. You're almost out of rug, Ant. You had better come out, or you'll be an Ant burger. I guess I'll have to give up ants. They're bad for my health. With a mouth as small as mine, the only choice I've got is spaghetti. 
and I hate spaghetti. Spaghetti. I just love spaghetti. You know that spaghetti ain't bad. It tastes like ants. Hey, come back. I'm losing the flavor. Come back. Wait. I can't stand spaghetti. Come back. Uh, excuse me, fellas. What is it that you're so worked up about? Pink Panther, the best at sound imitations. New Art Bar, the greatest at sound imitations. Wait, fellas. Getting angry at each other isn't the way to settle things. Why not let all of us decide just who is the greatest? Okay, Panther, you first. Vote whistle. Not bad. Your turn, Aardvark. A school bell. Well, Panther, do you give up? Oh, one last try. Express train. Looks as though the aardvark has picked the winner himself.